This is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Why does Aquaman never get a game like this? Wolverine is my favorite member of the X-Men, so it's fantastic to see him in all of his intense, violent glory here. This is a fast-paced, non-stop, action-packed video game. Available on pretty much every game console out there in PC. This is the Xbox 360 version that we're watching. If you see him, contact Central Command. He was genetically engineered to kill guys like you. To the point where they determine we're no longer necessary. The incident with the team The standout features of X-Men Origins Wolverine are the control system and overall playability. The gameplay is fast, intense, ferocious, non-stop, and terribly fun. It's fast, it slows down, it speeds up, it's all over the place, yet somehow it feels incredibly well balanced. It has some of the most intuitive, well-laid-out, well-designed controls that I've ever seen for a fast-paced action game like this where you have numerous combos and special attacks and throws and leaps and jumps and lock-ons. After playing for a while, I became familiar with the control to the point where I'm doing things without even thinking about it. I hate memorizing button combos. I never once got the feeling I was memorizing anything in this game. It just felt natural. Slashing people's heads off and stuff. This whole thing is just very well designed. It's not the greatest technical achievement from the graphical standpoint. It's a bit choppy at times. And the cutscenes and animation aren't really up to par with the rest of the game. I wish they would have gone with more of a comic book style artwork rather than straight up computer graphics. But that's a minor point. This is one of those games that I was not immediately impressed with, but after playing it for about a half hour to an hour, I got sucked into it. It's thoroughly addictive, and it feels very much like an arcade-style hack-and-slash adventure game, which is a hell of a lot of fun. As you tear your way through the game, you slice and dice your enemies into little chunks and then earn experience points. You level Wolverine up, you can increase his health and strength, and decide how to apply the various upgrades that you earn through the game. Hey, Doc. This turns out to be a trap. I will hunt you down then I have nothing to worry about. It's a terrific button masher, but at the same time it does require some strategy and definite skill and mastery of the control system. While the controls are easy to use, you can block, counter, jump, roll out of the way. You need to combine all this stuff to defeat some of the uh, end bosses or harder sections of the game. It's one of those games that feels challenging but not frustrating when it gets difficult. Sakes, get off your knees and begging for your life. Hostile targeted! If you enjoy the X-Men and Wolverine and like action-packed, violent, fast-paced video games, there's a good chance you'll love this game. It's pretty much like what you see on screen, there's no real hidden underlying problems. Unless some occasional jerkiness in both the gameplay and animation freaks you out, which it shouldn't because it's really rewarding when you spin yourself around like a helicopter and just mutilate everybody in a half-mile radius. That's a lot of fun. Floodgates are now open. I keep using the word fun because that's that's really what they've achieved here. I've played smarter games, I've played better games, but this one is this one is damn fun. 
Now if only the Lush and Potty Mouth could get their own video game. They're lesser known superheroes, it's a long story. It's good to see that guy got another job after the Lord of the Rings. Some of those bad guys just fade away into obscurity, but not the, uh, not the golem thing. The release of the game coincides with the release of the movie, but this does not fall into the pit that many movie-related games do. It can easily stand on its own. 